everyone, it is Maria. Today is January 1st, 2019. Happy New Year. Today's video is about Office 365 and my attempt at answering the question, where are my categories in both Outlook 365 and Contacts 365 for Windows 10? Uh, it was just a few weeks ago in uh, the first week of December 2018 that after much stubbornness, I finally gave in, bit the bullet, and swapped out my Office 2013 with Office 365. And I only did this because I started to run into situations where some of my Office files were not syncing with one of my major clients. We started running into some problems, so I went ahead and bit the bullet and, ma and made the switch to 365. And one thing that I noticed immediately in my Outlook was that my categories column, which is what I used to have right here, uh, was missing in Outlook. And I thought, no big deal, I'll just go ahead and put the column back in. But after spending a couple hours trying to get my categories to work, I gave up and started to find a workaround. Because even though it's, you know, categories doesn't mean, seem like a big deal, it was just a way for me to keep my inbox organized. So I was going to come up with a video uh, to address the workaround, and that's what the video was supposed to be about today. But once I got back in this morning and started to produce the video, lo and behold, the categories are back, and they are in obscure in an obscure place, like right here under filter email, right there. There they are. Now I am 100% sure that they were not there the first week of December. Believe me, I looked everywhere, and every place that I looked, um, they were all grayed out. Uh, non-executable. I was actually going to give Microsoft kudos for the fact that they didn't completely delete the categories assigned to emails that I had uh, put together prior to my upgrade to 365. I'm going to show this to you. I mean, this is, I went to the Microsoft forum, and so even as of, um, gee, I guess these go back, um, from the middle of last year all the way, well, even maybe even prior, I don't know. Um, some of these might have been uh, just for 365. People were saying their categories weren't working. Some people say it had to do with the eye mapping of the email, uh, the way you got your setup, your properties. Uh, some of these were for 2016. Um, but most of them were for op after they're upgraded to 365. And so they're even as of that first week of December when I installed mine. And I thought, you know, okay, I'll do the workaround video later. This one will address what I just discovered today. Now, I know I, I had installed Windows, uh, uh, I had installed a Windows update just a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago after the installation of my 365. And I'm hesitant to tell you this. I'm hesitant to say that that upgrade was a fix because I'm not sure that Windows updates affects Office or if 365 has its own update. I've actually read a couple places that it could. I'm thinking 365 has its own. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll have to investigate that later. But either way, the categories are back, and at least for today and until further notice. Unfortunately, they are not in the place that even the support uh, section of Microsoft says they are. Um, they said they're in the Tags tab. Well, that would be here, and they're not. Um, it's over here on the Find sec find tab. And so that is what leads me to uh, have further, that's, it further enforces my belief that they're still jacking with it and that they took them away, but they put them back just to appease the masses. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, it's not there. And if your system is not showing it either under the tags or the find tab here, um, here's how I can show you where to locate it. Now just be very careful that I just want you to delete anything. Okay, so go to files and options. Go to your um, customized ribbon. And over here, all right, so here's where the tech support page says that they should be. Now, see, there they are. Now, if I actually played around with this and I put these in a new tab just to test them and they're all grayed out. And so I was just doing everything that I was doing a couple weeks ago. So these don't work, all right? Here's where they're working. They're working under here, under find and filter. And it's this one that says categorize. So all this little grouping right here, that is what is working. So 
I know they put them back. Call me crazy, but I know they put them back. They just put them back in a weird place, okay? So that's where they are. So all you need to do is to um, put your column back in. Put your uh, categories column back in. Add it in. Say okay. So here it is. Come back over here. I'm just going to put it over here. And what's really weird about this is that so it's executable right so let's just go ahead and put that in there um whoa there it is right and so you can click in the in the email and then you can change it and you can go to your all categories you can add you can rename it whatever okay that's great right but here's the weird thing if you click in that cell in that category cell watch what happens it goes away and then you you know if you click twice it it just it's weird now correct me if i'm wrong what i remember categories and how they worked is if you clicked it and the only way that you could change that is if you right clicked it and then it would take it would toggle uh, see now it just says clear all if you right click it that's all you get um the only way to get back in there is to double click the the message and get in, in there and then right click from here and change that now if I wanted to you know add another one that's great uh, but if you click it if you accidentally click see what it does it just it's jacked up still so that's why I'm thinking they just put it back and um, I, I I'm still gonna make that extra video thinking that this may not this is just a temporary um, put back um, the categories being put back in so anyway just be careful when you put that in because now you just can click accidentally click in there and, and it goes away there was a safety net where you could just right click it and then it would just toggle down and then you'd have to manually change it and it would say do you want to change this or, or whatever now it just randomly changes it okay so there's that um, and then if you go down to your contacts there where they're listed here is not under tags like it says it is like you go under tags it's not there where it is is your list so there's your categories so these categories are shared with the same categories um, and it, it that you have in your in your regular outlook and the properties are the same you click on that and it goes away I don't know why I think that's jacked up <laughs> So, um, I think, again, I will do that. Um, I will do a follow-up video that shows my workaround. The only thing, um, and I wish I would have done a screenshot of that, the only downside to the workaround is that it made everything colorful. Like, I couldn't just make my column red green you know my categories rather red green it's the whole line so every line became a color so if you like a rainbow color of your email then that that workaround is going to be for you all right folks that's it i hope this helped you um give me some comments if you're still having trouble if you're if you're not able to find that categorized but it has to be the one that says categorized ed uh, for it to work um right here ced all right i hope that helps you guys have a good new year have a good night take care be kind